evening guys this is Irene here thank you for joining me on this Sunday I pray that everyone is well and safe and again I do um, share and express my uh, sincere condolences to those who may have lost loved ones during this really terrible time and I know it's gonna take a while to recover but God is in control and he will see us all through this um, very difficult time and on another note um i just want to say yay i am an official business so i am really excited and i wanted to just let you guys know that um i'm now officially registered my website is listed on the bottom um if you'd like to take a look and those cards i'm going to share with you at this time will be um, posted there as well for you to take a look and of course, they are up for sale as well. So what I'm going to share with you is I did have um, this paper pad that I bought from Michael's. It was on sale. It's actually called Tropic uh, Vacation Vacancies Tropicals. And I mean, there is just a lot of lovely uh, pattern papers in there from this one to this one my favorite part is the coconuts and then well of course uh, we have you know just um, paper with bathing suits and things like that and of course little coconuts and of course our hibiscus flowers so I was trying to figure out how I can you know make some cards out of those because it, it's basically my first time um, trying to work, you know, with all these different prints and patterns. So I will show you what I came up with. And um, of course, if you like those ideas, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, visit my website so you can see all of the other cards, tropical cards that I did create. So let's go ahead and start off. This is um, one of those cards that I did, uh, you know, do. Usually in the section of the pads, there's usually like cutouts. Um, so I basically combined a couple of cutouts here um, with, um, you know, and I tried to use colors to match. Like I have like a nice gold uh, trim on the on the uh, for the first layer and then I have green here along with the other uh, cut out at the top and of course this one here in order to just make a very simple card I also use my pearlized drops and I'm going to show you because that's one of my favorite things now and what I do is instead of using uh, gems I use the um, it's called the Rangers liquid pearls and it basically does give some sort of dimension to the cards you know and um i used it on the just the little stock in here on the flowers so when you pass your fingers over it it has this um raised uh, elevation so that's where the dimensions come up and of course it's just a very simple card um which can be personalized and of course the name of the recipient on the front and whatever words that you would like on the inside that I can do for you so that's one option the other option I have is this one I love this bird so I actually hand cut those the flower and the bird I use the pearlized drops in the middle so that it you know you'd get that uh, dimension I took one of those cutouts as well you know with um just a little piece of uh, um, crafting rope there and I basically try to tie in the colors into my first mat which would you know because there's the green there's the pink you know so I kind of had put it together and I came up with this card so again very simple card not complicated and of course can be personalized as well and your words inside the next option I have is I used with this one here I use this one but I use like um, 
it was like kind of on the edge so in that way it can actually sit towards the bottom of the square here and of course the cutout and this was another one of the cutouts um, it says paradise memories so basically I just incorporated what I cut out and with another bit of the cutouts and I used a red uh, like a dark red um, pattern paper to the back that I cut down and that is another option for you this one here I used this paper so I matted of my first layer with it and then this here is a cut out that was actually um, in the middle of the pad with another cut out I did use um, uh, what do you call it the um, the foam hold on a second I'm trying to remember the name uh, a DC foam squares yeah that's it mm -hmm. that I use to elevate this piece here so if you kind of look under it you could see you know like there is some foam or something under here so that's what I used I do have two sizes I have the small size and I have the bigger sizes so I used um, that and I also used again I used the pearlized uh, drops here in order to give dimension to you know just little areas on the card that actually added the accents and made it look really pretty so that's another option then I have this one this one opens up kind of like this so with this one this actually was um, a part of a bigger cut out what I basically did is I took what I wanted I and I actually just got rid of the rest because I didn't really want it and I used the coconuts the pattern paper coconut one as you can see at the back as my first layer and then just to the back of it I just put like um, a little strip with a uh, it's like a couple of colors I don't have any more of it but just a little strip here and then um, I cut this out as I said I use polarized drops again if you can take a look you can see the polarized drops here and then you know just at strategic points on the card to give it a little dimension so that's another option and of course opens up and the last one I have is even way simpler this is just a basic red background and I use the um, foam squares just to elevate the uh, swimsuit there and of course I use the hibiscus pattern paper so that I can cut out and just add something to the bottom so it's going to be really simple this card can be personalized with whoever where it's a birthday card whatever the card is um, you know just happy birthday whoever it is and of course I can add your words and personalization inside so all of the, those cards that I have done has been from this um, beautiful paper pad and um, next week I'm going to be experimenting with a different kind which of course I will um, show you next week but for now these would be some of the options that um, I did have done with those uh, papers I did have a few more um, that I wanted to show you like this one I use die cuts for this as well and of course a nice um, the paper on the back is basically like a cream paper and I used a stripe. I kind of use my paper cutter to get stripes so I can get this uh, striped effect on it first. And then I added the fishing net, the paddle, just a bit of coral, seashells and of course some slippers that I had. This is also another option here. The first layer was done with a die cut and I kind of trimmed off because the edges were like circular but I wanted it to just look a little different and then I used uh, this paper here to do the back and of course this was just a big piece you know just a big square piece I used my die cut and I had it trimmed down and under here I did use some fun foam with another die cut just to give it a little um, 
something extra. And of course, I hand cut this bird out. And there you have it. I mounted it to some squares. So that's another option. And here, again, with some more cutouts, I have, I put my first layer. Um, I actually did put under here, um, like, um, fun foam is very, very thin. Just for a slight elevation, not too much. And then, of course, this here has a fun, um, the square dimensions under here. And, of course, the cutouts. And I just kind of set it in a way that I think it just looks really nice. And, of course, the pearlized drops strategically with just a little piece of craft rope. So this is one as well. This one, for some reason, is my... I, I love this one. So what I did was I used... This is a 6x6 six six paper pad that I have. And... um. This is from another paper pad and, of course, another one. So I, I combined three different paper pads. And, of course, I used the, um, these here. I actually, if you can see, this is where I cut them out. And um, I mounted them on square foams and I stuck the uh, one part to the this base here and then on this side does have the foam fit this foam square sorry and this one opens up now I really do love this one this is my favorite one so you know all of those are on my website as well so you can go ahead and take a look at them let me see if there's any more I have because I did do quite a bit I just um, oh there we go yeah, here's another one. So I have put, it's green, but I have put black, you know, as my first uh, layer. I use that coconut um, uh, sheet here. And then I used, um, this is some glitter pattern, well, paper that I had. It's not pattern, it's just glitter paper. And of course, I cut out the, um, from this with my die cuts, use the, um, Polized drops and there you go this is one here is another so I just got so carried away here I cut out this butterfly my of course uh, as well as the drink and put a dark red uh, pattern paper with one of the cutouts this is actually another cutout so if you notice the cutout on the edge here is a little different what I did was I used my um, pattern scissors and I just cut around it so it will just give it a little um uh, some kind of different you know something different instead of just you know the usual straight 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 yeah so i give it a little pattern on the edges and i of course i mounted with fun foam and um squares and of course I, if you can notice i use the pearl eyes drops here as well so this is actually another one of my favorite cards and this is the last one. It does open up. This one is, um, again, I cut this one out um, from another pattern paper. So this is from a different pad. This is from a different pad. I think these two are together, but I kind of just cut them out and separate them. And of course, with a cream background, and I just mounted this way. It's very simple. And of course, you know, it's one of those things. Let me double check to see if I don't I Oh dear, I forgot. I did so many of those I did not realize I did. So I have like three more guys. I'm almost done. I did not know I had done so many of those cards. Okay. So here is, I promise guys, this is the last set. This is, um, again... Uh, um, I don't have do this any more of this pattern paper, but I thought it was just so nice. Um, so I went ahead and made my first layer. I used a strip of this coconut layer uh, towards the back. And of course, I used my polarized drops and mounting squares to get this one done. And of course, I thought I added a little touch there instead of having it, you know, the usual all the way down. Then you can see there is this little border here. So it opens up. And of course, these are my flamingos. Some more flamingos for you. I do have a cream background 
flamingos uh, pearl eyes drops just around you know just little areas and these are just some little flowers i just felt like giving some accents these are die cuts i have they're supposedly waves but i just thought they were just a nice little pattern and i just went ahead and put just a strip of black at the bottom so it kind of ends it you know in just a nice you know nice simple little look there this is one of my other favorite ones so again I actually made like a little sort of mountains and I edged it with um, my black uh, if I can find it but I have a black one this is the precise v5 I got those from Walmart they are very um, this one I took was the fine point and what I did was after I cut out the mountains I kind of just uh, edge them in just black you know just so that you can see the um the separate mountains i cut this one out cut out mr flamingo hair and then i ended up doing another mountain just to kind of you know give it a little something in the inside so when you close it out this is how it ends up so guys that's it i promise you i have no more of those hidden anywhere so i do thank you for watching again my website would be listed below so you could go ahead and take a look at those um you know they can be personalized uh, for anyone for any occasion and um of course your own words which i will um adhere to inside so if you love this video tell me what you think and um of course subscribe 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 so have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and Sunday and your weekend. And I will see you guys again next Sunday. This time I will actually be doing a card instead of, you know, um, showing that like I have been for the last two Sundays. Simply because working from home, you know, sometimes it's a little quiet and I just get carried away and I just start making cards because that's what brings me some joy when I'm, you know, just waiting to get stuff done so good evening and i shall see you guys again next week bye bye